I welcome the uh, result of the referendum in Ireland. This is a progressive step towards achieving long overdue equality for Irish women. My position on the matter of protest outside abortion clinics is clear. We must protect women that suffer harassment and abuse when exercising their legal rights. This is the kind of protection I've sought for women through my violence against women and girls strategy. On the whole, women can be confident that they are able to access health <laughs> services free from intimidation. However, there are areas where this is not the case. As constant protests and graphic images are used to cause deep upset and trauma for many women using reproductive health services, as well as people living near the clinics. I've raised this issue with the Commissioner of the Met Police. There are limits on the extent of the role of the police can play in tackling this issue. As a result, in response to the Home Office's domestic abuse bill consultation, we've called on the government to consider changes to the law to more directly protect women's rights to access pregnancy-related medical services free from intimidation and duress. Elin is one area that has experienced significant issues. As a result, their cabinet recently took the decision to implement a public spaces protection orders. This is intended to help ensure that women can approach abortion services without having to come into contact with the protesters. If this is infringed upon, this will constitute a civil disorder and the local authority or police will be able to deal with it appropriately. Although I should note that this PSPO has not come into effect yet as it's been challenged in the High Court. We expect the ruling soon. Nevertheless, I'm clear in my backing of the action by Elin. While I respect Chair the right for peaceful protest, <coughs> behaviour that deliberately targets women for harassment and intimidation cannot be tolerated. So I commend councillors for taking decisive action and note Lambeth Council are also looking at taking similar steps. Where appropriate, I encourage other councils to consider what actions they can take to prevent harassment. Thank you. I welcome your um, support for women's rights in this area um, and for the action being taken by um, Ealing and potentially Lambeth. Um, clearly, the point at which the protection um, uh, zones, the exclusion zones, are implemented, uh, local authorities may actually require <coughs> some support from the NPS if a breach takes place. Um, will you therefore be ensuring that MOPAC um, issues guidance to borough commanders on this, well, on this point? I, I mean, I, I've looked, I looked, the Deputy Mayor, uh, Sophie Linden, and I have raised this with the police. And the, the, the problem at the moment is the police haven't got powers to stop lawful protests outside clinics, which is why the PSPO was a useful device that Eden uh, passed. That's been challenged in the courts. Uh, and so once the court case is finished, and let's see what happens with the court case, um, let's see what happens with Lambeth, I think those two are good examples where there are additional things that can be done for breach of the, the PSPO. And that's one of the reasons why <coughs> we've responded to the consultation, which I'm happy mm. to share with you, in relation to more things the government could be doing, additional powers which will give the police more, more, things, more tools they can use in those circumstances where people are harassing women, utilising their rights to visit these clinics? Well, greater clarity would, um, would um, be very useful in terms of um, making sure that people were no longer able to um, um, suggest that they were having peaceful protests when it is genuine harassment. I think some of the stories are quite disturbing about the abuse that women and workers have had to face going in and out of the um, clinics. Um, what kind of noises have you had back from government about the, the changes that you've, you've asked for? We've not heard back yet from the Home Office. Uh, I suspect uh, a number of people, including the Home Office, are watching the judicial review in relation to the Ealing case. Mm -hmm. I suspect, by the way, some local authorities are waiting to see what happens with that case as well. There may be other councils. I mentioned Lambeth because it's the public domain. There may be other councils who are considering what actions they can take to protect women in particular who are using the uh, uh, clinics. The advantage of that is it gives the police and local authorities an additional power. The concern is at the moment there are no additional powers because, you know, as we would, we would see as intimidation and harassment, um, um, there, is, there is the other argument, this is lawful protest, and that's why additional powers via PSPO is, is really helpful. The Home Office, I suspect, are watching what happens with the digital review, then we'll consider what response to take. But we, are, we have responded to them and we're currently engaging with them. Thank you. 